Welcome to Android Weekly on Butterscotch.com, the show that brings you all the Android news that matters to you, or at least to me, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. On this week's show, a closer look at Android apps on the BlackBerry Playbook. Yeah, you heard right. An always-on way to get to the root of the matter, and Acer entering the tablet fray. Also, Kate Abraham reviews the 8500 Plus Drink Recipes app. But first, we pay the bills lest our cameras cease to roll. Did you know there are over 250 million websites online? Time to make it 250 million in one. Hover.com is the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. In fact, you don't even need to create a website to use Hover. You could make yoursite.com redirect to your LinkedIn page and yoursite.com slash CV link to an online version of your resume, for example. It's a great way to brand yourself when seeking gainful employment and has the added benefit of making less than tech savvy HR people think you're a wizard. Get 10% off your next purchase by going to hover.com slash Android. Last week we mentioned that BlackBerry Playbook users will get access to Android apps on their newest fruit-flavored device. BlackBerry has been the hardest hit by Android's meteoric rise. As we've mentioned in previous episodes, Apple's smartphone market share remains pretty steady, where BlackBerry is losing users by the day. Aside from the fact that BlackBerry smartphones don't have anywhere near the sex appeal of Android and iPhone handsets, the BlackBerry app world is really more like an app hamlet, with only about 18,000 apps in residence. Granted, the App Store arms race is absurd. Who cares if you've got 200,000 apps on offer if 180,000 of them are useless? However, at 18,000 apps for BlackBerry smartphone users and well under 1,000 native apps for Playbook early adopters, it's clear that BlackBerry needs a little help. Apparently taking the old adage to heart, BlackBerry has realized it can't beat Android's inexorable rise to number one, and so has decided to join them, in a way. The app world on the BlackBerry Playbook supports Android apps, again, sort of. Developers need to repackage and submit their Android apps to the app world in order to get them listed. Apparently the conversion process is easy for developers and it's free. However, the PR buzz sure made it sound like a lot more than it turned out to be. In short, the playbook will play nice with some Android apps, but developer intervention is required. Playbook users won't have access to Android's 150,000 plus app library on day one. Indeed, and this is an important point, only apps developed for Android 2.3 and above will work. Rooting your Android phone is the best way to get rid of ill-conceived manufacturer mods and crappy carrier-specific add-ons. Some skins running atop Android actually add something. HTC Sense is one great example, and Samsung's TouchWiz is no slouch either. That said, I make no bones about my distaste for Motorola's Moto Blur, and there are plenty of other offenders too. Putting my laundry list of complaints against manufacturer mods on Android phones aside, let's focus on one, the biggest one. They impede the upgrade path. With stock Android, you get new Android features as they're released. With a manufacturer modded Android phone, you have to wait for said manufacturer to update its modified Android build in order to get the updates. Perhaps the biggest sticking point? When a manufacturer decides it's no longer going to support your phone, you're SOL. To that end, or perhaps to end that, our friends at Lifehacker recently posted their always up-to-date guide to rooting Android phones. While there are some super simple ways to root Android phones, they don't work for all makes and models. And in fact, some manufacturers try to put safeguards in place to keep you from rooting your phone. Before you dig around trying to find a root method that will work for your phone, check out our tutorial on rooting. Now it won't work for every phone out there, but it is the easiest way to root and should be the first method that you try. Can a tablet cure what ails Acer? The Taiwanese PC giant made its name offering relatively inexpensive desktop and laptop PCs. It is perhaps the first name in netbooks too. All of these categories have had their margins squeezed so tight thanks to intense competition that more than a few PC makers lay dead on the battlefield. In short, it's a pretty cutthroat business and Acer has cut its fair share. Quiz time! If tablets are the new wonderkind, which they are, and Acer is getting in the tablets game, which it is, what does that mean for the market? Should I give you a second? If you said cutthroat competition in the tablet market, you get a gold star. Acer is an undercutter. Its main means of competition is to drive prices down. It makes solid products that are highly competitive with the others in their class and then shaves the price down to a point that you almost want to walk away with too. The Iconia tablet, model A500, has specs on par with the pricey Motorola Zoom. Dual core, one gigahertz processor and a gig of RAM, among other specs. The kicker though, it costs way less at 450 bucks. That's even less than the base level iPad. We've always said that for Android tablets to really take off, they need to be price competitive and trust Acer to finally make that start to happen. I expect we'll start seeing sub $400 Android tablets with solid specs before the end of this calendar year. Then and only then will we start to see some mass adoption. For our review of the day, we throw it over to Kate Abraham, who's showing us how to get sauced with the 8500 Plus Drink Recipes app.
I love the odd cocktail, but sometimes the cost of these fancy drinks in bars can be extortionate. Luckily now I can make these drinks accurately in the comfort of my own home. Drinks Recipes is a free app in the Android market that gives you over 8,500 recipes for any drink of your choice, whether it be alcoholic or virgin. If you fancy trying something new, just click on the All Drinks button and scroll to the alphabetical list of beverages by name. If you see one you like, click on the name and a list of necessary ingredients will come up. There is also a tab for instructions on how to make the drink. If you are looking for a specific type of drink, click on the Categories button to reveal a list of beverages, ranging from beer, cocktail to even coffee and tea. Like me, if you have a bottle in your bar that you have no idea what to do with, then click on the ingredients tab to enter a search term. A list of applicable drinks will come up. And finally, if you just want to try your luck, hit the random tab and shake the phone to get a random drinks recipe. Well, that's all the news that's fit to Google for this week. For full show notes, links and other assorted awesomeness, visit butterscotch.com. Until next week, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin.